Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking to Real Housewives in New Jersey. Season 12, episode 16, The Reunion, part three. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. Can I just say that I wish that Subway at Bravo would just leave it at two parts to a reunion and stop the three and four parts. A lot of it, it's not necessary. So I'm gonna do this review a little bit different. I'm gonna do this review just a little bit different and just get to the high points. So we find out that Bill's affair lasted two months. We also find out that she asked him right out, did he want a divorce? He said no, he wanted her to forgive him and he wanted their marriage to work. She said shortly after he had a business trip to Miami, she followed him to Miami. She had her brother call the hotel, pretend to be Bill and get an extra room key. She said so when he walked in to the room, she was already there and he found that to be very sexy and the trip heated up and their relationship started to heal from that moment on. Dolores said that she did sort of the same thing with Frank. She says that if Frank would have shown some remorse, she would have forgiven him and given and given him another chance. However, she said she asked Frank to call the woman and break things off and he refused to do it. And I said, yikes, can you imagine that? You are having an affair on your eight or nine month pregnant wife who already has a baby with you and you don't want to do the one thing that she needs to feel better to start healing to keep your family together by calling this lady and just breaking things off whoa frank was savage back in the day speaking of frank when the episode was over on watch what happens live frank's girlfriend was in the audience and he said you know it must be serious if he's bringing you know her around and i said yeah and she must be nuts i wouldn't date frank who's living at david's house get a place frank Bill says that at first he was mad at Margaret for bringing it up on the show and, you know, having it filmed, but he was more upset at himself because he knew what he did was wrong and that he could have lost, you know, his entire family. Marge gives this apology. She says it was really just all about the hypocrisy, which give me a break with this hypocrisy thing. That is so stupid. It is a total difference between being cheated on and being a cheater. There was no hypocrisy. Jen was rude as hell to Marge because Jen was taking her anger out on Marge that she shouldn't have. It's not Marge who was in the relationship with your husband. You should save all that energy for Bill. But Marge is full of crap. There should be some sort of grace or sympathy thrown towards Jennifer. And not only that, this was 10 years ago. You brought this up as if this was some fresh tea, fresh office relationship that he is currently in. Marge's apology to me was fake as hell. I don't believe it or trust it. Because if everything was so amazing, you wouldn't crumble like that. Do you now regret what you did? If I knew it would cut her to the core. I would have never said it. And I feel very bad her children got hurt. You think of Paulie? He, he looks like Buzz Lightyear. No, you son of a <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my God. Me and Paulie don't exactly see eye to eye. Yo, know, you actually proposed. So what was it? Trying to break up, but I didn't have the gut to do it. So when I went there, they made me commit to her. I was trying to help you flip public opinions. She does get into people's business. Okay. And I know Teresa can't handle that, but she is going to help you. Believe me, I saw this stuff coming out. I said, we could make him look like a superstar. Is any of it true? Were you emotionally abusive to your girlfriends? We were basically in toxic relationships. When you're in toxic relationships, it could feel emotionally, it felt emotionally abusive to me, Did but you? I'm not gonna label it that way. <laughs> I can't have sex four times a day. <laughs> Is there a domestic <laughs> violence record against you? Two incidents have come up recently, and those were arguments with my wife. Her motives were. I completely agree with everything you're saying. He's very forgiving. Me, not so much. Make some comment that Jen was pretending as if her life was perfect and everything for these last four years. Maybe her marriage was perfect to her these last four years. 
you know, deep down, we can see that her marriage was not perfect because he did have this affair and she never had a chance to deal with it. But she was dealing with it the best she could. And it's not your job, Marge, to come in and help her see that her marriage is not perfect. What I also don't like is that Andy allows Marge to keep going and going and going. But whenever Jennifer tries to say something, Andy loves to cut that woman off. Marge and Melissa going back and forth saying that no one really wanted to cause problems in Jen's marriage. They didn't want to embarrass Bill. That's an absolute lie. You absolutely wanted to hurt her and you definitely wanted to embarrass Bill. She did finally apologize that she didn't mean to hurt the children. But what grown woman who is also a mother wouldn't think that the kids would be drug into this at some point? Then Andy had the nerve to ask Jennifer if her and Marge could be friends again in the future. She says, well, she never wants to say no. I would absolutely say no. Absolutely not. I would film with Marge. Everything would be surface. I would never tell her any of my business. She would know nothing about me or my children or my husband. Everything would be tight lipped around Marge because Marge is one of those people that I like to call a collector. She likes to go around and collect information. And then when it suits her, boom, she drops that information and she doesn't care what the fallout is. As long as she's getting camera time, that's all that matters. They talk to Frank and Frank says that he hangs out at the house with David, watching TV late nights with David and his girlfriend. I said, oh gosh, get an apartment. This is just, what the heck is this? Reverse Three's company? Boy, bye. It's just so weird. Frank is living at the house that he built for David and Dolores with Louie's ex-girlfriend. What, what the hell has happened in New Jersey? We also find out that Marge's husband, Joe, got his bags removed under his eyes. He still looked the same. You know, Joe Gorka says, I didn't even notice he had any work done. I couldn't tell. Excuse he me, but to think that he's going to choose you, Joe, over me and yell at me for you, it's like, I, I don't know what you're thinking with well, that. No, sometimes the wives, they get a little out of control, and men, we're a little bit more stable up here. Thank you. Oh, then you need to get it uh, thrown back. You gotta, get, you gotta take real. some kind of abuse. You antagonize. This <laughs> thinks I told you to do that. I just want to know. Don't call this me a are you kidding? Relax. What do you You're mean? A and I told Jen, well, Frank told me he knows this alleged person. And he brought it to the show. It would have ended right there. It they let me go for my company. I you blame her it. for this? Yes. I yes. didn't do it. Teresa. Oh, Louie, do you blame her for this? No. Brings a lot of negativity. Thanks to you. No. Teresa, shut the up now you because that's bullshit up. about no one's lawsuits i don't talk about that shit because i came on the show my lawsuit blew up yeah, yeah, please, thank you thank so you much love you're really making a mistake no. by the way you're behaving no. right now no. No. Okay. No. All right. you called marge a see you next tuesday and you threw plates on her do you feel like you owe her an apology i did already well i'm not proud of that and she was accountable for it because she was putting it all out I there i wasn't putting it out there with the louis situation um I appreciated that he talked about it, but everything to me seemed well packaged and put together. Um, when he was on the show, he was calling those exes out of their name. They were tacky, gold digging tramps and everything else. Um, I'm sorry. It just seems to me if you have this many exes and they're all coming out with a story, all of these exes didn't call each other up and say, hey, let's all go online and say a bunch of stuff about Louie. You know, something is not right. I don't fully believe Louie at all. Um, do I appreciate that he accepted the questions and answered the questions? Yes. But do I buy it? No. No, I don't. Um, another thing that I thought was so evident is Louie would like to get past this. He'd like to move forward. He'd like to let things go. And Teresa just kept gnawing at it like a dog with a bone. And I'm not calling her a dog, but I'm just using that as, it's an analogy. Anyway, girl, let go. We know that you are pissed off at Marge. We know that Marge was digging deep, 
tried to find everything she could find out about Louis. Marge sat there and tried to act as if she was doing this for Louis. She was trying to turn him into a superhero. She just wanted him to get out in front of it. Bullshit. I am calling bullshit on all of that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You were not trying to get in front of it. You were not trying to make Louis look like a superhero. None of that. Because if you really were Teresa's friend and you really cared about her, you would have come to her one-on-one -on -one privately, not that little conversation that you had at the pool party, but you would have came to her privately and said, listen, I know you don't want Louis to talk about this stuff, but girl, listen, I have been drugged through the press before and the best thing to do is just have him speak on it and let it go. After that, let it go. But that's not what she did. Not only that, when they were in Tennessee, she said something about, she was right about Siggy. She was right about somebody else. I can't remember who. She said, and I guarantee I'm going to be right about Louis. She was saying that she was going to be right about Louis, that Louis was everything that those ex-girlfriends said that he was. So I don't buy it, Marge. Go somewhere. Now, Frank messed around and called Dolores' boyfriend, um, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Listen, I'm a Toy Story fan. I like little Buzz. I think he's kind of cute. Anyway, Dolores was not here for it. She got extremely pissed off. How dare you call her boyfriend Buzz Lightyear? And, you know, Frank said he expected more from a superhero. I guess... Frank tried to do his song and dance that he loves to do with Dolores' boyfriends by hanging out with them, becoming friends, you know, so that he can keep his place in Dolores' life. He says that Polly doesn't understand it. You know what? To be honest, I don't think that if the situation was reversed and, you know, if I had a new boyfriend who had an ex-wife and they were super close like Dolores and Frank and they lived together and went on vacations together and did all this. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be okay with that. That would not be cute for me. You are a grown man of 60 years old. I think get you a place. Okay. Get you some business, a job and a place. You and your girlfriend checking up over at David's house is kind of not my thing. I'm sorry. You need to have your own space. You want to do grown man activities? Get a grown man responsibility. Get you a house. Get you an apartment. Now, when they asked Louie about that video, Andy asked him why did he propose to his ex in that video? He said that the guys there were pushing him to be committed, to make a commitment, so he proposed to her. But then when he got home, she asked him for a prenup for $1 million, and he decided to break up. And there's bitch boy clapping in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, Joe. Jeez Louise. Marge was like, that's what we wanted. We just wanted you to get out in front of it. We just wanted you to tell everything. Girl, shut up. You know, Louie losing his job and everything, I'm really sorry that the man lost his job, especially since he built that company, you know, and the board of directors decided that he was, you know, not fit to lead anymore due to all of this negative press. Do I think that all of it was from just online ex-girlfriends? No, I think some of it was blown up due to the show as well, but I don't think that Teresa can 100% say it's Marge's fault. Marge went on again to apologize directly to Bill about bringing the affair to the tip, bringing the affair to the show. Um, they brought up Joe and his ridiculous self, expecting Bill to choose him over Jennifer. And I still, to this very day, do not understand what goes on in Joe's head. I didn't appreciate that Andy did not bring up that Melissa jumped up out of her seat and ran over there to Jen. That was not brought up at all. I agree with Bill and Frank when they said that they would never have approached Melissa regarding that little bitch boy comment. They would have just had a conversation directly with Joe, but Joe loves to be in the women's business. He loves to be a part of the women's drama. Joe is misogynistic. He really is, you know, he makes that comment that sometimes women get out of control and men are a little more stable. Not you, buddy. Not you. And what the hell? You are not stable at all. And not all women get out of control. Maybe just the women you hang out with. Alyssa saying that Jennifer asked for it because she called him a little bitch boy. Just like you asked for her to jump up on you when you jumped up and ran across the room. 
Give me a break. Also, this is out of the blue, but on Watch What Happens Live, Joe Gorga makes some kind of comment. I guess he he went on Melissa's podcast and was talking about the Judices. And somebody questioned, why are you talking about them after you said that you wouldn't? He makes this comment that when Teresa went to jail, him and Melissa held the show down. And I was so happy that Andy said, wait a minute, uh, we shut production down when Teresa went to jail. And he was stunned for a minute. And then he said, well, this whole show has just been moving off of the backs of our family. No, you and your wife have been moving off the backs of your family. And you love it. You are being paid for the misery of this family in this family situation. You can't go one episode without it always being about Teresa. And you're selling more Teresa on your podcast. You and Melissa did not hold that show down while Teresa was in jail. He made the comment that Teresa and her kids would be homeless without food if him and Melissa hadn't held the show down when she was in jail. <laughs> B.S. Oh my gosh, if you do not stop. What is really happening is him and his wife, you're profiting from these fights. I wish Bravo would realize that the fans, well, I can't speak for all fans, but I can speak for myself. I am tired of the Gorga Judice fights. I'm really tired of it. They have got to stop this. We have got to stop having season after season after season of Melissa and Teresa, Joe and Joe, Joe and Teresa. Stop it. Next season, they've got a friend of Teresa's on the show. She's also got Jennifer, and hopefully her and Dolores will make up as well. You know, she needs to just stop filming with the Gorgas. I would cut them out. I would pay them dust next season. And Joe saying that Jennifer needed to have a little punishment or something and Melissa agreeing with it, that was just disgusting and distasteful. And how many times does Jennifer have to ask Joe to stop calling her honey? No grown woman wants to be called honey by somebody like Joe Gorga. I do appreciate that Jennifer called Evan out for saying that Bill was her accomplice. And what I like about it is Evan stepped right up and apologized. He said that he was wrong. He was just upset in the moment and he was not a good friend to Bill and that they've made up. Now, Dolores still pissed off at Frank, I guess, regarding the Polly situation. She's gonna take her anger out on Jennifer and call her a effing see you next Tuesday. That was gross and disgusting. And did anybody notice the way that everybody laughed? I mean, Joe Gorga thought that was real cute for her to call Jennifer the see you next Tuesday. Jennifer just clearly broke it down. Frank is the one who brought it on the show. Frank had told Bill that he knew the woman that allegedly had the relationship with Evan. Bill told Jennifer, Jennifer called Frank, and then Frank is the one who filmed it with the show. So Frank is the one who actually brought it on the show. Now Jennifer coming back saying that she could have cared less, that's a lie. You cared enough to call that man and ask. Now Andy and the shut up, I was here for it. Andy had been asking them to stop it, stop it, stop it. He had already told them that he had a dinner reservation. He was not here for the mess. The man had a dinner reservation, he was ready to go and they still kept on. Marge is just full of crap. Teresa is out of her mind. I don't know what is wrong with Teresa these days, but ma'am, I need you to go back from season one all the way through season 12 and realize that you need some self-reflection, okay? You are not always innocent in these situations. Louie is trying to get you to calm the hell down. I mean, it's just so much back and forth back and forth marge makes the comment that she didn't mean any harm she wasn't she was trying to make louis seem like a superstar that's one of the reasons she never brings up lawsuits or anything and Teresa said because you're in one and that's the thing you don't bring up lawsuits because you're in the middle of several marge and i think that that should be explored next season we need to throw marge out there a little bit next season since it's okay for her to throw out everybody else now, I do realize that next season is going to be interesting because Teresa is bringing on a friend, Melissa is bringing on a friend, and Marge is bringing on a friend. This is about to be crazy, and I'm here for it. You know, at one point, Louie tells Teresa to calm down and behave. 
Then when he goes to shake the hand of Marge's husband, Joe, Teresa gets all pissed off. And then Louie tells her that she is going to regret this behavior if she doesn't stop it. And I thought to myself, is she going to regret this behavior because of you or because of her reputation and because of Bravo? What was that? I don't know. I just don't think I like him that much. Anyway, Teresa, please calm down. Louie wants to get past this. Let the man get past this and over this hump. You don't have to be Marge's best friend, but you can stop this arguing. Just stop it. Andy asked Teresa, was Marge invited to the wedding? She said, no. Marge says she'll send Teresa a gift. She said, don't. And you know, don't send a gift, Marge. Move on. But what really ticked me off is the way Andy handled the whole table drinks and plates thing. He just brought it up as if, you know, she forgot to hold out the umbrella for Marge in the rain. You know, he didn't do that for any of the other housewives. They glossed over it, period. They glossed over the situation with Jennifer and Melissa. They glossed over Teresa. You know, Marge was like, you called me to see you next Tuesday. You called me a whore. You called me a trap. You told Danielle to pull my hair. And you, you know, Marge was the victim. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, you are not the victim. Teresa was dead wrong for the way she flinged that half that table across the table at Marge because she didn't know how to use her words. She was dead wrong for that. But Marge, you have done just as much. Girl, bye. You are nobody's victim. Anyway, I am so thankful this season is over. These ladies have wrecked my nerves. It was the immaturity. It was the pot calling the kettle black. It was just the all around pettiness and no true friendships. I didn't see any true friendships. I saw girls band together to jump on Teresa. And by girls, I mean Melissa, Marge, and Jackie. I saw you band together to jump on this woman and Jennifer as well. You guys wanted to take both of them down because they were the fan favorites. And that's my opinion. I'm allowed to have one and so are you. Get down in the comments and let me know what you think, but be respectful because somehow I get to blocking people. Anyway, you guys, until next time, bye.